Um, so carbon intensity indicator, or, or CII, um, is, is really um, a, a metric that measures emissions per unit of distance. Um, if you look at the equations, there's always a dead weight tonnage or a gross tonnage in there as well, but it's technically just a constant, um, and it, it doesn't really matter for like the dynamics of the parameter. And so uh, what we're measuring really is like how much CO2 is emitted uh, per unit of distance. And that means that basically if you're moving or not makes a big difference. If you're sitting in port, your, your distance is going to be zero, so your denominator is going to be zero. So um, speed matters. Um, and if you look at the equation, you can actually kind of see how much speed matters because uh, you know, CO2 emissions is basically your consumption, fuel consumption, which scales as uh, the speed cubed. Um, and distance is the amount of time spent at sea, multiply it by uh, speed. So that is V. And if you say V cubed over V, that means that the CII uh, metric scales as V uh, squared. And so basically that means if you go a little bit faster, it's going to hurt your CII quite a bit. And if you go slower, you can have a pretty big impact on your CII as well. So really it shows a strong dependency of speed, which is not a surprise. And if you look at for a, a typical cape size, um, this is you know, roughly what that looks like in terms of CII. So on the horizontal axis here, you see speed. Um, and the vertical is the CII score attained, not normalized. And so a couple of things you can see, there's a strong dependency on speed. Um, you know, if you look at what the slope of that line looks like, you can, you know, in ranges that are sort of like typical for, for vessels like this, say, you know, from 11 to 13, if you estimate the uh, slope there, it's about 0.3 points of CII uh, per knot. And if you look at the range going from A to E, um, you really only have like 0.9 points to go. So, you know, three knots is the difference between uh, scoring an A uh, or an E. And so that's a, it's a big jump, and that dependency is real. The other dependency, obviously, uh, that's there is, is, is weather. Um, if you make the same plot, but now add a Beaufort 6, uh, you know, relationship, you can see that you move the whole line up, uh, and you're operating in, in a very different regime. So both speed selection and, and weather impacts are going to greatly impact uh, your CI score. And that sort of like brings it almost to, uh, you know, voyage optimization, if you will, where you take weather as sort of its resistance factor into account and trying to optimize the economics. So the only question really remaining um, that is a really important part of CI is, is the economic question. Like, what is the value of CI? To give you an example of, of what that means and how we could think about that is we'll, we'll consider a cape size um, with a you know thirty thousand dollar day rate, and you know we'll assume that bunker price is four hundred fifty dollars a metric ton, and the numbers really don't matter if you up the day rate. Uh, basically, means you're just going to move a little faster because you know of your optimum speed, and if you increase your fuel price, you'll be slowing down if you want to optimize basically your outcomes. But uh, one way to think about this is uh, you know cost per nautical mile. So in the figure here, the red line is fuel cost per nautical mile, uh, and that increases as you go faster because obviously if you move faster, you're going to spend more fuel per nautical mile. On the other side is the opportunity cost, so the, the cost of time. Um, if you spend more time on the water, it will increase, and so going faster will actually reduce your opportunity cost. What you really want to look at is the sum of the two. Your total voyage cost is the cost of your opportunity cost, so your time spent on the water, you, you're not doing something else. Um, and the fuel cost, which is really the fuel you're burning to try to reduce that opportunity cost. And that's the green line. And what we're looking for is where the green line is a minimum. That is basically the uh, balance between opportunity costs and fuel costs in the most optimal sense. And it's the most economic uh, speed to be traveling at. Um, and if you zoom in on that a little bit, you can see that if you're adjusting your speed for CAI, the implications can be quite large. Uh, you know, just an example here, if you drop by, you know, almost two knots uh, to maybe meet a CII requirement, um, you're actually going to be uh, sp spending about $5 a nautical mile extra. It doesn't sound like a lot, but if you are traveling 60,000 miles a year, then that would be $300,000. So there are real economic decisions to be made uh, and questions around like, you know, one, how, how do we set the value of CII and how do we translate that into voyage optimization constraint is, is a real one. Um, and so if you think about, you know, the idea of like optimum speed, which is obviously from a voyage optimization perspective limited, um, 
but it's, it's relevant nonetheless for like just understanding the relevance of understanding the value of CII. So what we're really trying to do in voyage optimization on a voyage level, uh, which is you know, on a time scale of like 30, 40 days, say, for a longer voyage and could be you know, shorter than that, obviously, we're trying to maximize the earnings of the vessel overall, which means that we minimize total voyage costs um, and we do that dynamically. It's not like we're setting a, an optimum speed. We really want to calculate the actual cost of the voyage, you know, brute force through millions of options and figure out what's the most economical one. Um, however, now, in, in, a, in addition to, you know, voyage costs of all sorts, uh, time costs, we're now adding a, a fuel cost, which is sort of added in an you know, unusual way. CII is basically a fuel cost, but because of its tiered nature, um, and the, the difference in time scale, this is now an annual time scale versus a voyage time scale. Uh, it's a very unusual way of adding that. And it's not uh, as simple as just adding a fuel tax. And so the challenges that we have to deal with a metric which operates or you know, impacts the optimization in an unusual way. And we have to combine time scales. Um, and with those time scales come uncertainties. Obviously, the longer the time scale, the greater the uncertainties around market variables, you know, the performance of the vessel, etc. Uh, and those are the challenges that we have to overcome. So if you think about how voyage optimization ties to CAI, you know, one way to think about it is like a multiple scale optimization paradigm, where basically on the one hand, we say, hey, we have these annual targets we want to hit, either by knowing the delta in cost between, say, A, B, C, D, E, or a, a specific target, like we want to hit a B for this specific vessel. Now we have to translate that back uh, to what we're supposed to do for an individual voyage to execute against that target in the you know, most economic sense, so the most profitable way. And so what we have to overcome there is basically the uh, you know, challenge of uncertainty uh, around forward models for you know, market variables like fuel, uh, market rates. Uh, we need to know where the vessel is operating um, you know, in what time of year, because that will dictate weather um, we need to know distribution between port and sea days, uh, which not only impacts our CII directly, but also obviously will impact the fouling rate of the vessel and therefore its overall performance, et cetera. Um, so tying those things together uh, is, is, is a challenge. And I think 2023 really is an opportunity uh, for organizations to think through how to best implement this into their workflows um, and get a better handle on the sensitivities of these models and how do they impact the outcomes and the data density and quality that's available within the organization to make sure that um, you're able to get the benefits of these types of multiple scale optimizations going forward.